When I first arrived, the Evans family certainly were grieving from the loss of Jennifer. To me, this is the end of the world. <laughs> they don't deserve what's happened to them. This really had put Gary in a tough situation of not wanting to discipline his boys. And it's going to be really important for me to see exactly how well Gary has done with his sons whilst I've been away. Exciting times. You get to have a look at yourself here <laughs> and the family. First thing we are going to take a look at is meals. So this is the, this is the sausage you love. I don't like those peppers. Just try it with the sausage, Sean. It's meant to go with peppers. It's meant to go with sausage. Do you want to wind up going to bed, losing your DSI tomorrow? No. Are you ready? I do up? like it. I want the raw again. What I like is you actually said to Sean, you know, do you really want to be going for a situation where this will happen? And right. I'm not. Well, I just, I just wanted him to know that you know there are consequences to him not yeah. eating. And you know that you'll just do it. Right. And the kids sense that, and it brings you to a place of being able to then set out those scenarios. You're like, we don't want that, do we? Right. Which is a lovely place to be. Let's take a look at the timeouts. Stop! Ow! Dad! No! No! <laughs> Dad hurt me at first, so I hurt him back! I warned you before. The next time you bothered Sean, you were getting a timeout. Now you'll do your timeout. No! When you're done here, you're getting a timeout. Sorry. What are you sorry for? For her sure. That's right. Yeah. You have your kiss. I'm done with my raspberries. You owe me a timeout for hitting dog. Sorry for what? Hitting the That's right. You need to tell him you're sorry too. So it is good that you're doing a timeout, but both kids are screaming out that one of them's done something to the other. First things first, bring them both together. Let them both tell you their side of the story, OK? You give them the talk, mm -hmm. and then you put them into timeout. Right. So potty training it is. I think I have to pot. <sighs> oh, Mom, I can't do it. You don't need to right now, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Dylan. I got a diaper. Where does pee and poop go? Um, in the potty. Okay. It's one thing to have an accident, Dylan, but this isn't an accident. You were just sitting on the potty, and you went upstairs to go do this. I'm not happy about it. OK, I just want the potty. <laughs> right here. Perfect. I have to say that your voice was, was absolutely brilliant. Your tone, it was very firm. It wasn't by any means scolding him, but it was very much showing you're not happy with this. And when he sat on the potty, it was really nice because he kind of looked up to you, you know, like, hey, I've done it. All right, let's look at the spirit of mum. We're going to make mama's banana bread. Yeah, banana bread. All right, mate, you just mash away. Okay? Mash away. Love it. OK, Dylan, put the sugar in here. Good job. Yep. Woo! Mm -hmm. Ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Boys, I think the banana bread's done. Mmm. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. What brought you to the point of thinking about banana bread? She used to make it all the time. Um, you know, before she passed. So we Fabulous. haven't had it in, you know, a year and a half, yeah. or a year and three months or so. Yeah, you know, it was just something she always did with them. And she always used to let them mix and, you know, yeah. all right, throw this in. And so, you know, I made sure I did it that way as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous. Well done. You've Thank worked you. really hard. And it goes without saying that the results are there because of that. So let's move on to the next level. OK, great. Fantastic.